Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic, coming to you from Las Vegas, my last full day in Vegas. Uh, a lot of people might think of the gambling and casinos and strip clubs when you think of Vegas, but uh, turns out it's actually a really quirky city. Lots of really neat stuff that's right up my alley. I have thoroughly enjoyed my time here. A lot of people told me last time about a bunch of stuff I missed or skipped. Don't worry guys, there's always a second chance for me to come back and try that later, so I do bookmark a lot of the stuff you guys tell me about. Tonight, today, and tonight we're gonna be doing the Fremont Street Experience. Um, I've taken an Uber out here so that I can spend the rest of the afternoon and evening here and party a little bit, <laughs> and I'm looking forward to it. So thanks for joining me guys. We'll be uploading this video with some Nomad internet, and there's a link below in the video description in case you need some mobile unlimited internet. Here we go. By the way, when I said I got a t-shirt at Meow Wolf. I'm wearing my Meow Wolf uh, t-shirt as we tour around Vegas. Um, guys, quirky? It's two semi-trucks all wrapped up. How neat is that? Two huge semi-trucks. Those are full size, by the way, and uh, very interesting art installation here in Vegas. But uh, I skipped breakfast this morning, so the first thing we're going to be looking for uh, is a place to grab some late lunch. Okay, maybe not the very first thing is food because there's a lot of quirky stuff to see on the way. But we got to make it about six blocks up still to get to the entrance of the Fremont Street Experience. But here's a nice graffiti wall right there entrance. And I don't know if this is Mother Goose or what. We're staring right at the sun, of course. Okay, it says Golden Goose, established 1974, and she's holding some golden eggs that light up, apparently. That's pretty neat. Look at these palm trees. Look at these stinking palm trees, guys. Okay, I'll stop. Wait, there's a tiny little cargo container. It's tiny. It's like, it's like a five-footer. Oh, that's really neat. Wait a minute. There's a green button here. What the heck is going on there? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Don't do it, Eric. Um, oh, well, wow, that's a cool trailer though. Oh, here's some information. You wanna pause the screen and read up on the Golden Goose. Go ahead, pause it. It's like it used to be an old casino that was tore down and all we have left is uh, Golden Goose. All right, here's the first food restaurant I found, but if nobody's eating here, that just, I can't do it. I just can't be the first one. Atomic Liquors, liquor and cocktail. But yeah, nobody here. Lots of neon to check out on our way back tonight, but this motel sign has this. It says, I just figured out why Teslas are so much. It's because they charge a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay. I'll uh, give you second place. The world's second largest fire hydrant. The other first one, the biggest one's in Texas. Forgot what city. That's a big. Oh. Actually, something's going on with this one. Is it possibly a real fire hydrant? Because it is. That's pretty neat. So it really is a fire hydrant in case you need to use it. it. It is fully functional. It just happens to stand 20 feet tall. Nice. Yeah, so apparently containers are really popular in Vegas. Well, in, in all places of the Southwest, especially California, but they, they stacked a couple high here and then decorated it with art. And then whatever this creature is here, it looks like half the thing that we saw out front of Meow Wolf. It's art, guys. It's art. And uh, could this be the world's largest stiletto woman's shoe? That's pretty cool. Happy Valentine's Day to y'all. It looks like a version of uh, Love Locks, but instead of Love Locks on a fence, they're on a huge heart, and people have just signed the hearts. And, yep. I would say at least half these people are have broken up. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's probably true, right? Wow, that's cool. And then a giant uh, praying mantis here, here at uh, Downtown Container Park. That's interesting. Like I said, uh, containers for some reason are, are really popular in the Southwest and they have an entire shopping district made out of nothing but containers that wraps all the way around here. Even the restrooms are made out of containers. Every single business has a two-story high one. These ones have added glass fronts, obviously to attract customers probably. And there's a lot of really neat smells 
I am hungry now. Well, I guess I was just smelling the tacos. Oh, okay. All right, we got Thai food. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep looking, gonna keep looking here. And more Thai food, holy cow. Well, we're only one block away from the entrance of the Fremont Street Experience. Oh wait, what's that right there? No way, Evil Knievel's Pizzeria, Evil Pie. Oh, I love Evil Knievel. Look at the artwork, that is so cool. And this smells like some old school pizza in here. I think this is the one. I think this is the one. Look at this, they got an Evil Knievel pinball machine and an old uh, bicycle there. This place reminds me of uh, old school pizzeria back home in Olympia, Washington. Let's check out what they got here. Oh man. I think I'm gonna get a slice of goblin sausage and the pepperoni there looks good too. All right, got the heartburn special times two. That's right and a delicious beverage. Ooh, it's very thin crust. Mm -hmm. Really, really good pizza there. I highly recommend if you're coming to Fremont Street, do the Evil Knievel pizza there. They are playing really loud music, but, oh geez, now I sound like an old grumpy man. They're playing their music too. Those damn teenagers playing their music too loud. No, <laughs> it was good. It was good, good food. All right, so we got a huge margarita glass up here, and this is the entrance across the street. There's a, this will look way better tonight, but this is the, this is one of the entrances of the very long semi-indoor, semi-outdoor Fremont Street experience. We're gonna go check it out. Hey there, little pigeon. All right, uh, we're in. And as you can see, it's pretty much open air everywhere. A little tiki bar over there. Yeah, it definitely, lot to take in. If I feel a second wind coming on, we got the Heart Attack Grill here advertised over 350 pounds eats free. And the other cool thing about Vegas, if you're like me and you like to enjoy a delicious adult beverage from time to time, you can walk around with an open container around here. And also, this whole place is, like I said, semi-open air, so as long as you don't go inside, you don't have to wear a mask out here. And there's probably plenty to do down here. We're gonna check it out right now. All right, of course I hear lots of music. Holy cow. Look at the whole structure is moving on the ceiling with LED lights. Holy cow. Oh, I think I'll start right here at Fat Tuesdays with no line and look up. Uh, the Cat's Meow Karaoke. Oh, that is awesome. There's the uh, staircase to the cat's meow. But yeah, I'm gonna get a drink. Mm. Got the frozen mango, it's delicious. Oh yeah, that is delicious. We got a white castle right here at the entrance. And oh, there's a Harley Davidson shop too. But look at the roof, guys. It's all like projected LED, a huge screen up there. Man, this is a cool place. Viva Las Vegas. Ooh, just got a good whiff of a, a funky cigarette. Oh yeah, I like this place already. I wonder if I'm gonna be able to find a magnet. There's probably no magnets in there. No magnets over there, yeah. <laughs> All right, he's printing my shirt over there. There's a lot to choose from and um, I did, did find one I like. Yeah, I'll show you later though. Oh yeah. <laughs> the D and uh, four queens next door. Actually, I'm gonna take a little break because the sun's getting ready to set. I'm gonna go shop around for uh, a magnet. I'll get back to you once the sun sets and we got all the lights back on, all right? All right, hey, it's cheaper. If you're single and you come early, I'm gonna do some bowling. I'm the only one here in the bowling alley. It's a really cool place before I throw my first ball. They've got an arcade with Guitar Hero, which is awesome. Don't know what the connection to Breaking Bad is, but we've got Walter White here with a barrel of Los Pollos Hermanos and some cash. That's pretty awesome. And they have a full bar here at this place. It's really, okay. You, you probably have heard of riding the bull. Well, this place, you can, you can ride the, um, the, um, you know, the, the, I'm just gonna leave that one alone. But yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool bowling alley. It's up here on the uh, third floor up here. So I think a lot of people don't really find it, but I think it's a great place to kill some time before it gets dark and uh, play with the balls. All right, first ball of the night.
That's a good start. That's a good start. How come I'm only good at this when there's literally nobody here? First game was a 153. Oh, this one was a 154. Okay, so I'm still averaging 153 and a half. Nice. And after just two games, I still have 39 minutes left. It's $12 an hour per person. It actually pays to be single and alone. It's cheap, like dirt cheap in Vegas. So I'll finish up at least two more games and then we'll go try that guitar hero over there. All right, I had an awesome time bowling. That was fun. It's just good practice for me, but you really do not see these very often. Guitar Hero arcade machines with the guitars and fully working. Hopefully, I gotta do it, man. I love Guitar Hero. This is gonna be fun. Bowling Alley and Arcade was really, really cool. Guess what? Come outside. It's dark. It's dark. It's time to go do Fremont Street Experience and see those neon lights all lit up. I like Vegas. I like Vegas a lot. I'm really, really enjoying my time here. It's been much, much different than my last experience when, well, some bad things happened. But anyway, let's take the Elvis later down to the bottom floor and get back down the uh, cat's meow karaoke is on the second floor over there all right hey they got a dick's last resort here this is the place where you wear a hat and they uh make fun of you actually yeah here they are when i was in uh, panama city last time i went to one of these so the waiters come by and put these signs on your head this one says our meat tastes better than last night's hookup <laughs> but you don't know what they wrote on your head so you're sitting there with five people you don't know what the servers wrote on your head it's kind of fun vegas has everything there's a wedding chapel right there uh, off to our left there's a tattoo parlor right here open 24 hours you can get tattoos of course we've got a denny's but it's not your normal denny's the vegas strip denny's serves beer and wine <laughs> yeah oh yeah vegas comes alive once it gets dark folks holy cow there's a double decker bus right there look at this place what in the world holy cow i love the full moon off there oh man viva las vegas is right oh man just like Key West or anywhere, everybody's trying to make a buck, making, uh, doing whatever they can do around here. We got a puppeteer here. And uh, yeah, Four Queens is lit up. The Fremont Casino's lit up now. This is so much different than the strip in Vegas. It's just this long stretch of partially indoors and outdoors. It feels safer, feels more secure. Crazy. It's like being in New York City. Just insane. I cannot believe this place. They knocked it out of the park here. And every once in a while, you'll see a good deal, like a $5 hot dog and Pepsi. I've seen uh, $8 beers. Eight, eight bucks for a beer is actually a really good price here. They're playing good music, but they switch it back and forth. They can go from Luke Bryan to Katy Perry just instantly. It's crazy. What an incredible experience. It's so cool. I'm not much of a gambler, but they do have slots. Hey, they got Dunkin' Donuts. They got models you can pose with and pay. They probably got other things you can pay for with them too. <laughs> Finding a restroom can be tricky as we leave uh, Four Queens here. We got the Golden Nugget across the street and then uh, Binion's Hall over here. I need to find a, an adult delicious beverage here. Yep, street performers everywhere. I'm gonna go hit a bathroom real quick. All right, found a bathroom. Now we gotta escape. 
because they kind of they kind of hide the exits here. Actually, table games are kind of cool, but yeah, there's there's a lot of people wasting their money in here when you could be buying some Bud Light. <laughs> Oh, this place is flashy and cool, though. And they do enforce masks in here. Absolutely. So, at least I'm protected. All right. There we go. Whoa, it's loud out here. Holy cow. Okay. Even though it got later, I thought it was going to get colder, I had to shed the jacket because the more people you have in here, the warmer this place gets, even with the airflow. I need a beer. Beer me. There we go. You don't even have to go indoors for a beer. Just walk right up and you can get a beer. I see they do have uh, Bud Light right there. Oh no, they got 16 ounce drafts of Bud Light. Good grief, this place is cool. Man, I love Vegas. Oh, that music was being played by a DJ at the other end. She said she's gotta quit because they're doing their top of the hour show. Show, all right. Pretty cool. Pretty stinking cool, man. I love it. Wow. Pretty cool. And nobody stole my saddlebags this time. <laughs> so, my Uber driver said I cannot ask to be picked up here. We have to walk six blocks out of the Fremont experience in order to get picked up. So we got a long ways to walk. I'm gonna schedule my pickup and then we're gonna head south out of Vegas. And I'm really gonna miss Vegas this time. This was a lot of fun. Unusually fun and awesome. Oh wow, it's still lit up for blocks. You might see some more stuff down here. I guess riding a bicycle is really popular in Vegas. All right. Actually, this is cool because now we get to see everything lit up that we saw at the beginning of our night with like evil pie. Yeah, it's awesome. That's awesome. That was cool back here at Container Park. Glad I got to see the praying mantis blowing some hot fire. Yeah, all right. And as we back up, there's that stiletto high heel all lit up as we leave uh, Fremont Street here. All right, the popo got everything blocked off behind me. So this is as far as the uh, Ubers can get. So we're gonna we're gonna hang right here and uh, wait for my Uber driver. Just gonna look for that logo. Looking forward to getting back to those kitties. I didn't overdo it tonight or anything, but uh, maybe I overdid it. I'm starting to feel a little funny, funny. Kitties, I survived Vegas. I missed you guys. Misty Opie, Misty Terra Bear. Yeah, Vegas was crazy. It's also been an interesting week behind the scenes, by the way, because I've been working on something secret that is happening tomorrow. And gosh, I wish I could tell you something about this. Well, let's go back about three and a half, four months ago. I, I told you all that I was gonna do something very, very special for Jack's man. It happens tomorrow in Vegas. Yeah. And then I'll be getting back on the road. Thanks for joining me guys. Vegas was awesome. Really had a fun time. I will see you in the next video with some really exciting news. Bye guys.